Hello all, Sabato here. So today we're going to be talking about how to beat symmetrical ground pounders. So this has took me quite a bit of learning to do and you know considering I'm towards the max pirate weight it is very tough. So you're going to start to see bases when you're pirate all seven pirate all weight these double layered walls. Now obviously pirate all seven we have one ground pounder but this we're actually going to be talking about symmetrical ground pounders or near enough as you can see here. So the best way to get through these double walls without the troops being led through the garden path, we'll call it. So normally they get led around an opening and they'll come all the way through. But as soon as they do it, they come into range of the grand pounders. So we're going to play some speed one now. The first thing you want to do is start to clear out these outer buildings. So as you can see here, I've started to line out my gunners to be able to take down these buildings. You've got to time it right because you don't want these gunners being wasted and dying straight away. So you need to find the right timing when to put juggernauts down. So because these are two high HP buildings, I thought it's best to get the juggernauts in. And as you can see, it was pretty good timing from there. Now the problem is, because there is no openings, these juggernauts in the double walls, they're going to start to trickle around the sides here and take a lot of damage. So we get our bombers in there because they're all being distracted by the juggernauts and everything else in there. And um, now the um, bombers will start. As you see, great throw there from Cornelius. Pulls that quickly. So the throw from there to Cornelius threw enough apes over to take out the impressive gun tower firing onto my troops. Now I delayed the deployment of the bombers. So when these buildings are taken out, the bombers' main focus then will not be to walk around the sides. It will be to actually take out the walls. These bombers have a different AI to other games so therefore they need a clear path because they'll take anything on so we made sure the bombers have now made a hole through this section and let's play now and now you can see they're starting to bomb through this next layer of walls along with the two juggernauts and Cornelius Essent now I deploy some more juggernauts because now we've made a clear path for our juggernauts to go through and they will not get sidetracked round the sides now bunkers are very dangerous when using heavy gunners because they can target the heavy gunners because of the heavy guns range but in this case we managed to take out the bunker before it takes out my heavy gunner now we've been able to take care of the mortar due to the case of a heavy gunner surviving. Now we've punched through another hole, so we've got two holes, two lots of troops going in left and right directions. Now, we are taking fire, but Juggernauts can handle the fire off the Grand Panthers because uh, earlier on in the Academy Level 2 or something, there's some, uh, I forgot the name of it, but what it does is reduce splash damage onto them. So now we have quite a few tanks still within this base. We've got two heavy gunners still. We'll get our gunners. The pirate hall is about to fall. It's on long range anyway, so it can no longer target us. Now we can start to take on some of these defensive buildings that are real powerhouses. So these gun towers are ripping my men apart, but they are gun towers that are better than my pirate hall 8 troops. They used to fight in pirate hall 9 troops. So again, now unfortunately the AI has focused onto this ship. Could have been a different outcome, but still we've managed to two star on a real and maxed out, apart from the walls, maxed out Pirate Hall 9, apart from the Mystic Mortar there. But that is exactly how you deal with the Grand Pandas. You have to clear the outer edge buildings and able to punch a hole through the walls to be able to get your tanks in there. Now, yes, that means you're going to have to lose some troops. You know, Slaughter of the Lambs and all that. <laughs> <laughs> it lambs to the slaughter, I should say, anyway. But yeah, if you take out the outer edge buildings here, then we can get our bombers in, and we can punch our holes through and get straight through to the Grand Pounders, where our then main army, say 75-80% of our army that hasn't been wasted, can get through and start to go to town on the base inside. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching all, and bye for now.